Hello, here we are going to be placing an IV catheter in a dog. And here is a picture of the supplies we need for setup. So to clean the area, we need alcohol and chlorhexidine scrub that we have in a bowl. We have tape lined up, two sizes of catheter, some gauze, an injection cap and a tea set, and that will vary what we would like to use based on the procedure. Um, quick things like a surgery that's gonna be in and out in the same day, we'll just put an injection cap on the catheter, and a tea set will be reserved for patients that are hospitalized or staying for some period of time. This patient's leg is already shaved for placement of an IV catheter in the cephalic vein. Uh, we generally shave all the way around. That sort of helps when taping to make it easy to also remove that we're not yanking on a ton of hair. Um, and it, it keeps it cleaner to be able to clean that whole area. Now the technician is feeling the vein here. Um, it has already been scrubbed, alternating between chlorhexidine and alcohol. Chlorhexidine a couple times, then alcohol back and forth for two to three times. Now the assistant is rolling the vein to make it more prominent and make um, the blood flow come when the catheter is inserted. Now you can see that she is placing the catheter and she got a little bit of blood in the stylet and as soon as she saw blood, she advanced the catheter into the vein. Now she's anchoring the catheter down with one piece of tape. And now she will be putting a tea set in. She's applying pressure at the point of the catheter so the blood doesn't rush all out. And now she's putting the tea set on. Be sure to tighten that nice and snug. Taping varies. Um, it's best to not tape too tight or else you'll have a fat paw situation. But you also don't want to tape too loosely or else the catheter is going to come out. So this is a nice tape job here, sort of laying it on um, firmly but not too tight. And that is an anchor piece going under the catheter that helps stabilize the catheter steady from its left to right movement. And she was just uh, checking the catheter there flushing. So the assistant is holding off and she's drawing back and you can see that she got blood back and she flushed in a little bit and the catheter is patent. Now she's anchoring down the tea set with another piece of tape. Never hurts to have an extra anchor. And that's it folks, successful IV catheter placement in a dog.